What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the Habao, the Hyper GT 1.8 scale four wheel drive on-road car. It's the HB GTLE. So this is a 1.8 scale, as we're saying, and it is the kit. So it's 80% uh, is what it is. So there's no electronics with this, not a ready to run or anything like that. So let's get this box open and check out what's inside. All right, real quick, here's a side view. Just in case you guys want to pause this as far as all the specs, electric, all that, 80%. All right, so first of all, this one here, the reason why I went with this one here, this is a little bit older car, but I love it because this looks like the Nissan Skyline, the R35. Let's go ahead and get these. Let me get everything out of the box here, but I'll just kind of show you how it's kind of packed in there anyhow. Definitely dig it, definitely that's why I picked it. That Nissan Skyline, that GTR look to it. It's not a licensed body, but you know, they did pretty good as far as when it came to the way it looks without having to go with the license. All right, so we got the tires and everything like that. These tires are pretty good. Uh, well, I don't know until I actually run these things, but, uh, and they're pretty soft rubber, but this is to be expected like an RTR. You know, so if you wanna do speed runs and stuff like that, you know, go with something like, for instance, a, a GRP tire. You know, there's a lot of different speed tires out there, but that's just one that off the top of my head. All right, you get the large wing that'll go on the back here. You get some zip ties. You get some little foam pieces there just to kind of keep from rattling and scratching your body, which is nice, your little body clips. You got your little motor mount that's right here. Uh, tools and all that good stuff that's in there as well. So nice, this is what I like too. It's gonna just add a little bit more to the scale is that got light buckets so definitely cool on that one front and rear so I like I wish more manufacturers would do that where they you, know, you can add LEDs in there it just looks pretty cool especially at night into the manual here before we get into the actual car itself so this manual is actually really good very well detailed like it all like exploded views kind of putting it all together so instead of an exploded view sorry this would be more of like putting it all together itself, how they show it all. So very well, very nice when it came to Habao laying this all out for people. So definitely don't overlook Habao if you're not really sure what they're all about. They got awesome stuff, let me tell you. And uh, I've had a few of their RC cars and have not been disappointed in the least. So here's these here. Um, these little stickers here, they're, they're already cut out for you. So it's not like to me where you gotta trace everything out and cut it out. But uh, yeah, these here, they, they are clear a little bit, so if you want to go ahead and put LEDs, they will shine some light through. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these, but it is an option for you guys too, even just those stickers for the rear. Anyhow, a little intercooler. Might have some ideas as far as to do something different with that one too. But yeah, you get a little antenna, which I mean, most people don't use the antenna. These here are for masking, so that way if you, when you go to paint, that way uh, you don't pray your windows and stuff like that. So definitely like that one. I was a little bit nervous. I was like, oh man, it did not come with that little sheet. And I cut it all out myself. Anyway, and you get Habao stickers too. So very cool. All right, moving forward here. On to the real deal. All right, this thing, I love it. And you know, there's a reason why I picked this, chose this car. I've been watching for a while, or waiting for Habao to get it back in stock. And uh, since it came back in stock, and we do sell these cars too, so I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in picking up one. Now this one here, the GTB, or the, the LE, what have you, this one that I'll have the link in, only comes in the 80%, which is just the, you know, the, just as you see right here. So that's gonna be that. All right, so everything, this kind of looks in some ways similar to, you know, a lot of the 1.8 scale as far as the, the cars will say, at least in my opinion, something similar to the Kyosho as far as their Inferno line. So this is gonna be Mod 1 gears that are in here. And I already showed you in the little bag too, that's where we can mount and we can slide our motor. This thing's pretty long here as far as when it comes to, you. I've seen people use those TP motors because they fit right in this area too. And I know people have drag raced these. Now, also kind of in speaking of the Kyosho Inferno, because, I've been running that thing quite a bit on the channel or the Dodge Demon. To let you guys know, man, if you had the Dodge Demon body or this body here, you wanna change it up, that thing's gonna fit just like perfect on there. So I know it says long body and of course it's raised up in the back so it's not gonna sit correctly so it looks like it's off a little bit. But trust me, nice wheel gap that's in there and everything so. 
All right, so now that we got that, let's take a look at this thing. You know, as far as aluminum shocks and the caps too, very nice. Now, the only thing is here, these springs, they're already kind of all the way down as far as on their coilovers, what have you, adjustable. That's the only thing as far as like, oh man, there's not much more, you, you can't raise it up a little bit unless, and there's not really any other little spots. Yeah, you could raise it just here. It does have a little spot right here so you could adjust it a little bit. It does have the little covers, uh, so that way on the shock shaft itself, and then it keeps the, the dirt off those shock shafts. Sway bar that's in there as well, aluminum that's here too. Now this kit is, like I said, I'll put a link. But uh, it's right around 300 bucks, I think, for the kit. It's not bad. I don't think it's that bad at all. The front here, take a look at all that. Kind of skim over it. I got some batteries here. Now, these are the Venom batteries. These things are going to fit perfectly in here. Even with, I mean, you can see it with the strap in there. Or the straps are kind of limited to me. A little bit but there's still a little bit of a gap here that's where you'd mount your electronic speed controller and this is a large case here now it's a 5000 it's a 2s but it's going to fit in there as well it's just the little straps in there but that fits in there just fine but this kind of gives you a little sneak peek of what i am wanting to do check these out these are from habao as well boom i want to paint the the center console black and i'll probably have this thing raised up a little bit too now i don't know as far as you know that I'm gonna make this car more of a more show than go or at least I can make it go if I you know make some kind of I don't know platform here to I, I, where I can just go ahead and remove it I got some ideas for this thing that are coming and there'll be more stuff along the way as I kind of get some other ideas from friends and stuff like that and also you guys so leave some comments down below what you would like to see or Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. Give me some ideas. I'd be happy to read those anyhow. Now, as far as the color here, I'm not gonna paint the thing green because I know I got a lot of hate on green. And I'm not about that. I'm not gonna do the green. I really am aiming for, I'm gonna go with maybe white. Hear me out on this one too. Uh, the white makes everything pop, right? Like these lights here. I don't want everything to kind of get lost with a dark color. So I want to be able to, you know, see, you know, as far as the body lines to it. And I think with black, it really doesn't enhance where you can see all those. It kind of just kind of blurs in a little bit. So I think I'm going to do potentially a white, something like that, a lighter color of some sort. And I might do something like where it's black in here, just like on the real, you know, GTR, what have you. As far as here, I would kind of like to do some kind of intercooler. Maybe I can get with somebody that does 3D printing and uh, making an, an uh, you know intercooler here so that's what i want to do i would okay i'm gonna give you more man i hate holding back and it's gonna give you guys ideas too but some kind of twin turpski you know twin turbos here would be pretty cool to see coming out of the hood so yeah there you go run with that one tell me what you guys think about that but anyway there's where i'm at with it got some other stuff behind but i don't want to show it all right now but that's where i'm kind of going with this car because it's something different, right? We're always just kind of running the cars back and forth. But let's see something kind of cool, something a little bit different on the channel, right? It's been done probably on other channels, but at least on my channel, I want to kind of do something a little bit different on that one. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Give us a shout. You know, maybe you bought something. Leave a comment down below. Let you guys let us know what your experience was with omgrc.com and i'll catch you on the next video you guys take care and thank you again for watching